Yellow duckies and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. My name is Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel. So yesterday's episode was definitely different. Um, I'm kind of doing a lot of, of pre-recording, so I really won't know how anybody really reacts to it yet. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> It was just a little idea I had that it was like, okay, you know, I'm not going to do anything major. I just need to do some basic stuff, go and gather some stuff, and why not see about just doing it and just getting the sound? Because I know that the, the game sounds in here, while I have them turned down, um, they are definitely still really high quality, and they're really nice and, and can be pretty soothing. At least personally, I find them pretty soothing. Um, now, admittedly, I wouldn't go and do that with any, uh, any other, you know, style of game like first-person shooters or anything like that. I wouldn't be doing it with those unless I was just doing, like, secondary stuff in them. Um... Because I, I do play, like, Fortnite, but I, I don't think I would be doing that. I think that's a bit too chaotic um, as I roll around everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I personally feel that's a little too chaotic to do um, game sounds for unless it's maybe in creative and I'm going fishing or I'm, I'm doing those sorts of things. Um, but I just thought it, it was a relatively nice thing to do in case anybody just wants to, like, set it on repeat or something. I don't know if you can even do that on YouTube any in, anymore or anything like that. I can pull the audio and make a long form if you guys really want. Um... I make on sticks. There. Okay. And then I also need. Yeah, I should have enough of that. I think. The only thing left is the brown sticks. And yeah, I still have more than enough shells. So yeah, I'm good. Because I got some from the rubber. Alright. Um, what was my third one that I needed? Oh, I already got them. Okay. Um, and up after them, after the... Oh, the egg melts. Let's get the egg melts. Now, I do have quite a lot to do, but it's all mostly related to, um, the museum. So, um, I don't know if I updated you guys. I got quite a lot and I put a lot of stuff into the museum and I'm actually past the point of the normal rewards at this point. Um, I'm sure that at some, at, at, some point with the major updates upcoming because we do have uh, one upcoming in August um, that they might expand on the rewards for the museum or what have you uh, so that'll be nice to be able to do because we're trying to stock up again. Oh, that's the other thing I have to do. I became BFFs with Owen. Here, I can show you guys up here with me and he is my BFF. Um, so I'm considering 
testing out the heart knot again. I probably could have done it before this. I just am being cautious, highly cautious, but he has been super romantic with me. So I might find where I put the heart knot that I bought and finally get around to actually giving it to him so that we become a couple. Or I can just continue to try to up my relationship with Fang because he's my, my secondary choice, even though it's so hard to build a relationship with Fang. I really... Mm, developers, please. I, I understand you made this a similar situation with Ginger in Portia, but it is so very hard to build a relationship with someone who will not give you um will not give you commissions and also will not take gifts from you <laughs> it is so very very hard <laughs> to do that okay so we're gonna start donate what we can I probably put in way more than I needed to. I should have only left it at a certain number. Alright, so once you get past the 40, because this is a 40, I believe, you get your four leaf clover necklace and you can get that, but then you start getting rewards every five, and what you get is. A workshop rep, experience, relationship with Katori, and gold. Third time's the charm. Uh, I, I hope so, Katori. <laughs> Uh, also, it is a new year in the game. I think we're on year three now. Ourselves. Yes, year three. Oh, it's Vivi's birthday. I don't... Uh, what does Vivi like? Um, Maybe if I give her a diamond. You think she'd like a diamond? I gotta give her a present. She is a Percy. Uh, Percy. Prezi, for Vivi, Prezi, for Vivi, Vivi, Prezi. Hopefully the sticks will be done by now. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Where did I put my diamonds? Was he in this one? Yes. There we go. Okay, so we've got some diamonds. some more seeds um let's go give her a diamond hopefully she's one of the ones that likes diamonds um i did get another gold um i gold stat and trophy um and yan had another breakdown and screamed for his mommy but I ended up donating it to the museum. Hey there. Okay, um Diamonds, diamonds, where did I put my diamonds? Where did my diamonds go? Diamonds. Yay! She loved it. See ya. I should just start giving people diamonds, except I only have a certain amount. That's the annoying part. I don't remember where I got diamonds. I might have to look into that. Hmm. 
You know, in my luck, it's probably some super rare drop from something. Let's see. Jigs. Don't know why it's saying those are new to me. Don't know why it's saying water is new to me. What in here is it saying is new to me? Because I don't... Oh. Golden Eagle piece. Yeah. Okay. That's... Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, because I grabbed stuff that I hadn't put into the museum before. I'm just trying to put what I can in the museum. Medicine, that was to turn into someone. Furniture. Wooden bookcase. And... I feel like I'm missing a photo though. Like I got the achievement, but it looks like there should be a photo right here. Maybe it's not in the game yet. Um, but anyway, resources, diamond. Workshop ranking and junk piles. Oh boy, junk piles. Okay, so it's probably just a rare find then. <laughs> it's gonna be annoying, but let's see. Who else's birthday is coming up? Okay, so Chi, we know what to give him. Elsie, probably Yakmel hat. Anything Yakmel related? She likes yak stuff. She's like yak the yak. I talk back. <laughs> I'm being very silly today, guys. Don't. Just don't. Alright. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in my swamp? Okay. It's out of my swamp. Can I? Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Not doing that. I need to go and get more opals at some point. Obviously. Anyway. Um, for those who might question why I'm not doing the contract, it's because I don't have 20,000 goals to use on it. I have nine. And I keep spending my monies. So I'm not gonna have that much for a while. <laughs> Although I do wonder if I. Like, I don't need any of the relic pieces really. What if I just take it down? It's still crazy. I eh, whatever. Now, I have been curious, because apparently Venti is going to be... How Peck could be more... He didn't even read it. <laughs> I have heard that Venti is going to be a, um... Romanceable at some point? Possibly? I'm not completely sure? But she is not actively romanceable in the game currently. 
Um, it was kind of one of the last stretch goals that we were all able to achieve in the Kickstarter, and I'm so happy that I was part of that and we were able to get that far. Not that I ever doubted that we would, honestly. Hey. With Portia being as big as it was, I didn't doubt for a moment that we'd get far on the Kickstarter. So how are we this year so far? We are already way ahead again. So I'm not too bothered about that. That looked a little off when I was looking at it from above, but I wasn't quite sure. Quite a bit of tantal leather. Let's go ahead and take that. And no, we need more with Jensen. Even though I have been doing quite a lot for Jensen lately. I can't remember what level I have him up to yet. I don't think I've got him up that far. Squeaky chair. Got a lot to say. <laughs> Squeaky chair has a lot to say, guys. Uh, also, apparently I have some new pictures. I don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah, just... Hmm. And the end's relationship. Just there, is there just one more I haven't even clicked up? Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Tumbleweed. I saw you come out of nowhere, Tumbleweed. I'm tempted to come and smack you, Tumbleweed. I'm gonna do it. Let's go, guys. I'ma get you, Tumbleweed! Ooh, kapow! Kachow! Rawr! Fierce! I'm fierce! Ha ha ha! Death of a Tumbleweed! I'm okay. Anything from this one? Of course, more hinges. Right. Take one of those bloodstone cores over here. Exactly what to get it from. 
Where are you, my tasty little walking cacti? There you are. Hello, hello. Are you around here? No, no, no. Doesn't seem like it, my dear. Gonna get him. Gonna get him all the day. I ran into a yakmel and it got me stuck in place. Hey, pray. I'm okay. No, please. Where's this guy? There he is. There he is. Yeah. One more. Woohoo. But deed. Now let's go and set these. Um, in between episodes, I actually did also upgrade, well not upgrade, but I remade um, the blender. I was only able to get it into blue. I don't know if it's possible to get it higher. It's one of the things that I can't do on the refiner. And I'm not quite sure if that is just a bug or if that's how it's meant to be. And the reason I'm unsure is because I am not a developer. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. There you have it. It's already there's already a plant there. Okay, sorry. Oh gosh, it's after midnight already. Okay, guys. Yes, I know I need to get to sleep earlier. Alright, um, I need to just pick those up from the thing, that, da, 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 and sort this and put stuff away. At the animals. Actually, you know what? We can do that later. We're gonna do that later. I'm gonna grab these because I don't want to waste time. Alright. And now I'm going to be quick about this. Grabbed it. We are going. This is gonna happen now. Out. Here we go. Here's your commission. Go became my friend. Oh, it's Sunday. Everybody's going to treat. Darn it. <laughs> Do I wanna? 
give this to Owen in front of the whole town. I mean, at the same time, why not? I could. I'm not normally that kind of person. Like, a little PDA I can understand. But I'm definitely one of those ladies that would be like, why? If it was in front of the whole town, like, I'm, I'm thankful that Captain Zanuck figured that out about me prior to anything that we we did, so... <laughs> like, I don't mind things being at least- and a little bit on the public side of things. Like... Honestly, our wedding plans are- are... going to be at a- a public location, for the most part. But I think the wedding itself is going to be at a point in time when most people won't be there. Um, at least the ceremony, I think, happens before people get there and then like the reception is kind of whatever everybody should party. <laughs> so long as they're in the right area, they're in the area for us. And that's our party going on. Oh, and oh my gosh, thank you. I caught him outside. Um, your mission, and and uh, I mean, okay, um, no, no, wait, just wait a minute. Why did that just make me so happy? <laughs> It's in some it's in some ways that like a wind does remind me of Captain Zanark. Like admittedly Captain Zanark isn't nearly as outgoing. But let's be honest, Owen really only is like outgoing a whole lot one day of the week. The rest of the time he kinda just mans the bar and, and takes care of the place and whoever else comes in. Anyway, guy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so happy now. It's just so happy. 
such a happy. It's like between that and, and thinking about my actual wedding, even moments before. And, and, uh, just a mix of stuff. Brings on the happy. But alright guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye bye!